Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, in today's video, we are going to be talking about importing and exporting of images and artworks. We click on file and we click on place. So, by clicking on place, it brings us this dialog box containing the directory in our system. So, we want to import this image. So, we we'll click on the image then by default this link will be ticked so you untick it so as not to ask you unnecessary question during your edits so click on place and you have this image hung onto your cursor it indicates that you should create a space that you want your image to be in so this is our imported image so we can choose to manipulate either any of these anchors on the image you can hold shift to scale it down or to scale it up okay this moves it down and you can manipulate to the size of your choice so to crop an image you click on the crop image on the control panel or in the properties panel there is crop image here either of them you can click on them then you can manipulate using this widgets by left clicking and dragging to the points that you want to crop out then you can click on apply on the control panel or apply on the properties panel or enter on your keyboard so we're going to apply it so control z to undo let's say the other last method that you can use in cropping the image is right clicking then you move to crop image okay you can choose to crop it just as i mentioned earlier apply then this is our image, our cropped image. So I want to make some kind of edit on the image. How do you go about it? You can make clipping mask on your image. How? So go to the rectangle tool, then right click and click on the ellipse tool. Then holding down the shift key, you left click and drag to give us a perfect circle. So move this to the center. Or you can choose to align them by you select all then align to the center then vertically align it to the center so bear it in mind that if you want to clip an, an image or clip mask an image the vector image have to be on top of the bitmap image so this on the, the vector image is our bitmap image then you can either come to the properties panel and click on make clipping mask or you right click and make clipping mask so we click on it and voila right at the right hand side of the toolbar we have this icon so this is the stroke that is the line of the circle you can see it has a strip right telling you that it is not visible so we're going to make it visible by double clicking and giving it a color of our choice let's make it to be okay let's choose this color yellow and we move it to the side then we click ok then we can increase the width of the stroke at the properties panel let's increase it and you can see the stroke has been modified so we want a gradient on this stroke how do we go about it so you can click on this gradient or you click on the gradient tool on the tool panel so by default this is going to give us a black and white color so we we'll click on this and change the color to our preferred color or you can use the eyedropper tool to pick a color from this let's say we want this on the other side we want a blue color so as a graphic designer you have to alternate between contrasting colors so this color we want we can keep this for future use so this is for stroke so we're going to work on the field this is for stroke while this is for the field the field has nothing inside so you can double click on it so we want the field to let's say we want a gradient for it also so you can either click on this and bring a cursor here on the field we have to apply a color for it to work so let's say we want a blue color or let's say the other color so that's our field but you can decide to change it 
we change it to a gradient so alternate we make the sense the side of this is is um orange we want the field side to alternate this so we can mm -hmm. click on this icon that's reverse gradient and you can see voila this is our gradient so what's a shadow under this picture so we select it using the selection tool you select then we make a duplicate of it holding the alt key let's click and drag so this on top we blur it to blur it you move to effect then click on blur then you have three type of blur here or you click on the image that you want to blur then this fx means effect okay and here is also so these are the two ways you can blur or add effect to an image or an artwork so we're going to this the pop up we're going to preview it and check whether it suits us so we're going to leave it as this and okay so we're going to send this to the back then clicking on the arrange button on the properties panel we send to back you can see then we're going to align this this top image and bring it down so as to have a kind of shadow okay let's move it like this you can choose to use your so we can group it together now you can press ctrl g to group then we can move it to the center of the artboard to center an image on an artboard you move to the control panel we have this this icon so you can either choose to align the selection which i don't want to do i want to align it to the artboard so horizontally i'm going to align it then vertically i'm going to align it vertically so you have a perfect image having a kind of shadow under it after you might have edit your image you want to export it how do you export an image if you want to export an image you click on the file and you move to export if you want to directly export it as a jpg you can click on the export as then it will automatically export it then for screen there are some settings that you need to change like the name you can change the name here let's see picture picture that is the name i want to save it export to indicates that indicates the file that you want to export it to okay so here are a bunch of parameters or units or the type of image you want to export it as you can export it as png jpg svg or pdf so i'm going to leave mine as gpg 100 percent then we want the size to be times three so you hit on the export button so you have your file here so this is a created file so this is a file that you've just created that's a cool one